Alright, so people are surmising that if I, you know, get past these enemies and stop this shitty music... Oh my god. That perhaps... I can listen to the log. Or maybe the log is intentionally quiet. What I don't understand is just... You solved the mystery of Kaliopolis. Well, no, I didn't. I have a log that I can't listen to. There it is, Yannick, Yannick Sage. But you play it and it's silent, right? So what the fuck is that? I don't know. I think I'll go this way. I think I'll ignore that enemy and go up. <laughs> I don't know how I solved the mystery just by finding a secret room that looks the same as the room that was under the prison. So now we're into the room where we were going to walk into before anyway. Another vendor? I guess we're safe in here. But the music won't stop playing. Castro Jenkins, we came from the other way. That's where the enemy was. It spawned behind us. Oh, here's our reward. That printer is worth a thousand. Look at that. The printer was worth a grand. So now if I actually sell these bullets and I sell one health pack, I can now get the maximum upgrade for the grip. Yep, we're going to do it. We've fully upgraded the grip all the way. Hello, Cheerio Eater. How are you? Sweet. And we got an achievement for it, too. You need a gun. Fully upgrade one weapon. It's hilarious because I upgraded not the gun. All <laughs> right. So now the grip is maxed. It can't get any better. Now we want we can focus on other things. We want to upgrade melee. Right, we only did one melee upgrade, which was this, the three-hit combo. We haven't upgraded anything else. I just realized we haven't upgraded any guns at all. Not even a single upgrade. <laughs> wow. We just did grip from the beginning of the game. Maximum grip. All right. Power on. Reset the breakers. So now we're going to go through this door to reset the breakers. That's the way we just came from right there. Okay. The wizard build? Exactly. Toss shit around. Cause max damage. Don't have to worry about guns build. The music stopped. So, to me, this is sounding more and more like the plot of Dead Space. There's some signal in the, somehow coming from the center of the planet, and they're digging deeper and deeper and deeper down to try to find where it's coming from, and apparently the deeper they dig, the more monsters they find, right? At least that's what it seems like. Okay. So the music was glitched. And once the music stopped glitching, I was able to play the log. So good. I'm glad that I got the log. Now I'm thinking it's going to be that blinking light, right? That's got to be the first breaker. There's spikes along the wall, meaning you know enemies are going to show up. Oh my 
god. What brand are these? I said Hori. H-O-R-I. They're a, a video game peripheral company. Hori net, wireless net phones. I guess we're going down. Oh, boy. Oh, there's a lot of them, huh? There's the second breaker. And there's the assholes I need to avoid. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's four of them. One down. Two down. But now my charge is out. But that's okay. There's only two. I might be able to do stealth now. Right? Two more over there, too. Wow, there's a lot in this room. That's okay. I'm just gonna take my time. They are incredibly stupid. Beautiful. second breaker should I kill the other guys first you think because there are more There's another, I'll, I'll kill the other guys first then I'll flip the breaker that way I'm whittling them down little by little rather than having to fight them all at once I think this is the only one left so after this guy then I can flip it it seems like as long as you're just crawling and you don't physically touch they never alert to you it's the touch or the noise that alerts them alright so no touchy and you're fine. Okay. I don't need any of this hand cannon ammo, by the way. All right. Here we go. They are incredibly stupid to stay crouched and don't physically touch. It's it's guaranteed kills. It's not nearly as scary as it appears because they're actually quite dumb. But keep in mind, you fuck up, they mutate. So actually, the hardest enemies in the game to kill are the easiest enemies in the game to kill. Like, literally. know what to do. Wow. Remember how afraid I was of these guys. Not anymore.
Jesus, look at the pile of bodies. God. Insane pile of bodies. Disgusting. Did I get all the items? I don't even think I did. I think there's more, but... So many bodies around, I don't know what to do. Look, they give you an explosive thing. You don't even need it. Once you know what you're doing, you don't need it on these guys at all. There's the third breaker, right? He's blinking. The breakers blink, I think. Looks like I can walk around. I'm all right. And I have grip if I need it, so I think I'm good. I think I cleared the fuckers. Looks pretty good to me. <clears throat> right? I'm good at the game. I just figured it out. You know, I figured the game out. Ruben says, I was just blasting my way through this. I didn't consider that stealth would be so good. See what I mean? Like, all you got to do is figure out the shit. Figure out the system and you're good. People are complaining the game's too hard. Why are you fighting these guys? Right? <laughs> Why are you actually fighting them? They're stealth enemies. canister. Carliga says, I highly recommend start upgrading your shotgun, baton, and assault rifle. The last two hours of the game are going to be filled with lots of bullshit. Alright. So before we flip this switch, I received a tip. $3.02 from Jared. He says, or JW, excuse me. He says, I guess he wants to go by JW. He says, are you, gonna, are you going to play Dead Space Remake? I mean, here, let me put it this way. I don't see the reason not to. At the same time, you have to understand Dead Space Remake is not this game. Dead Space Remake is Dead Space 1. It's literally the same game as you've already played. The only difference here is that it's going to be uh, better graphics and slightly improved gameplay mechanics. But outside of that, it's the same game. The same bosses, the same plot, the same locations. They're not redoing the maps. It's the same locations. It's just slightly tweaked. It's not even like you could argue Resident Evil 2 remake is a full remake. Like the whole the whole layout of the Raccoon City Police Department is different. The puzzles are different. They're not in Dead Space Remake. It's the same game, except it's gonna look better and, and handle a little better. Um I think some people are really over expecting stuff from it. I don't believe it's going to be as unique as a, this is a new game, right? This Dead Space remake is not a new game. I think some people are setting themselves up to be disappointed. I don't know. I'm still going to play it though. Okay, here we go. Thank you, JW, for the tip. Achievement. Power up. This way. Three enemies are gone. These are the ones that were blocking the stairs. They're gone now. Oh, shit. Some crazy shit's about to happen. Here they come again. This time with crazy lighting. How's performance on the Series X? You can see for yourself. Looks great, right? Smooth, buttery. There are times when the frame rate dips, and sometimes it's in cutscenes, and sometimes it's in combat. Um, but for the most part, I have zero complaints about its performance. I, I love it. You know, I think the vast majority of problems with performance is the PC version. Thank you, Nick. You look very handsome today. I appreciate you saying that. I always try to look my handsomest for survival horror playthroughs. It's kind of my thing. 
Anyway. I actually left some credits behind before. I guess I don't think I have to kill every enemy. I just skipped one that was the point of killing them all, right? I mean, he went that way, so I'm not going to kill him. Let's keep going. Oh, this is the dead end, actually. We have to go over here. I like the lighting. Look at the glowing pipe power line. It's pretty neat. Okay. You know there's more coming up. Like, there's no... <laughs> I'm not just going to assume they're all gone. Jade says, I love this. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Jade. Again, you know, this is this is true survival horror. It's being super careful, playing well, using your resources to your advantage. In this case, we're now stuck in a narrow area with this asshole. I don't want to waste ammo, so I'm just going to backtrack to, like, get behind him, right? Here we go. Goodbye. Stealth master. <clears throat> All right. Quality mode on the X has more problems. No ray tracing and worse performance. I'm playing performance mode. I don't care about quality. I don't play it 4K. You know, lots of people maybe would have that issue. I don't. I'm only 1080p, so look gorgeous to me. So, wait a minute. Hard hat area was a dead end? It was, right? We're going this way. And then this is the elevator, and this is probably where we're going to have the crazy boss. I th or, or it's either going to be a boss, or it's going to be a gauntlet, or it's going to be both. Because there was no other reason for them to have all of those boxes there. Like they had. Are you going for a walk? <laughs> Haseo says, I remember I also used stealth on this part. I didn't even have to use the grip. Cool. Yeah, the stealth is working super well. The music is certainly tense here. Oh, what the hell? Now that was scripted. That was definitely scripted. Okay. I don't think we have anything to sell, do we? I'm pretty sure we don't. An icon. Doggy says, how do Cat and I avoid getting sick this time of year? I mean, basically, the same thing that everyone else does. You know, wash our hands a lot, right? You know, don't go to group events. We haven't gone, since COVID happened, we haven't been to a concert. We haven't been to a super crowded area or restaurant or thing like that. You know, yes, we go out shopping every once in a while, but we try to go when it's not prime hours. You know, you just you basically try to avoid as much as you can. She works retail. She has to have interaction with humans. She has hand sanitizer with her. She tries to stay, you know, away from people who look sick or are coughing. You know, everything you possibly do. That's all you can do. You know, people are bound to get sick this time of year. Luckily, we haven't yet. You know, all you can do is basic stuff. But the thing is, a lot of people keep putting themselves into these risky situations. Like, oh, it's safe now to go to a concert where everyone's packed. And let's go to a bar again where everyone's just interacting super close. It's like, you're putting yourself at risk. We don't do that kind of shit, right? Okay. All right. Um, Do I want to sell anything? Yeah, I want to sell the hand cannon shit again. I'm not using it. I want those inventory spots for other stuff. But outside of that, wow, we have two... Grip battery packs. We have a bunch of ammo. We got healing. We're good. We are good. Now, let's see how I do in this part because I have no clue what's going to happen in this room. Like I said, it could be an enemy gauntlet. It could be a boss. I don't know. It sounds bad. Whatever it's going to be. Now they're letting you open these? Yes, now you can open these chests. Handgun ammo, skunk gun ammo. Is it all ammo? Probably because there's a boss. 
Will I put the Yakuza spinoff in February? Possibly yes. Probably Ishin, right? I might. I likely will. It's all ammo. So I'm going to leave these open. Why not? Leave all this shit open if I need it and grab it during the fight. Maybe I won't need it. Maybe I will. Right? Obviously some crazy shit's about to go down. Jesus, he likes horror, like, and he also likes Mortal Kombat or Walking Dead or Ghost Games. Sounds good. It definitely fits that. All right, guys, let's see. So far, we have no bosses in the game. If there was gonna be one, it seems like this would be it. So good, maybe the cost would be late. No gun. Come on! Seriously? I was that close. You gotta feel like maybe one more wave after that. I was doing so well. I was totally doing well. I do have a problem with the fact you cannot quick reload this, the, uh... The grip, correct? Am I right in a saying you cannot quick reload the grip at all? Like, there's no way to just use the grip. You have to go to your inventory and manually select it. And I think that's a major problem. Right? I want to be able to have that grip just reload real quick. Like, I can hold down on the D-pad and I heal. But there's no way to quick use a grip. Am I correct? Is there a, quick, a way to quick use the grip, uh, the grip charge? I don't know if anyone can answer me. That would help right now because I was doing super well. And the fucking I couldn't reload the grip fast enough and they got they got on my ass. See we have more grip charges. I almost feel like that's all I want to grab is the grip charges. No, changing the grip charge is slow. Ugh, not good. Really? If you're out of energy when you try to grip someone, it'll auto-use your battery. It will? Oh! Well, then I don't have to do it. Okay, fuck it. Then we should be fine. I'll just grip and toss, grip and toss, grip and toss. I'll just do it endlessly. And keep tossing them into this blade. We should be fine then. 
All right, let's see how this goes then. Now that I know that, thank you for telling me that. Let's see what happens. These are all the fully mutated enemies too. These are the toughest ones. Are so good. Checkpoint. Hit me with checkpoint. Checkpoint here. Doubt you can grip him. I'll try. stomped me. He got me back. Okay. 
All right. So I don't know. He seems like he got stunned, and I don't know if you were supposed to do something when he got stunned, because I was far away reloading. I don't know if you're just supposed to unload a million bullets or whatever. It's not clear. What the fuck? Okay. Now he has insane range. At least there's a checkpoint. It's a good checkpoint, so I'm not going to complain. Oh, yeah? I'm going to try some things. I'm going to try taking off his limbs. See if I can take off limbs like it's dead space. Maybe you can. by shooting his foot off. that far away from that fucking far away What the hell? We're already done? We already got one of his halves dead? Oh my god, that was fast. So all you're supposed to do is shoot him in the legs and melee him when he falls. His arm came off too. Come on, stubby. What happened? Well, I didn't do that. So here's what happened. He swung and I dodged. And then I wanted to back away, and for some reason he relayed when I didn't want to. I didn't mean to do that at all. I totally didn't mean to melee that time. I wanted to start running. What's hilarious is he has no arm and he still insta-kills you. <laughs> he has no arm at all. So, it's basically a pattern puzzle boss, right? Stun him by shooting him in the legs. Melee him. The first half comes oh, dead already. The first half comes off.
got to almost be dead. Talk about a bullet sponge. Finally. better than one. Now that was a crazy ass boss. We got it done, right? Woo! Nothing in any of these now, right? What a gauntlet. There's body parts that came off and shit. Nice. We did it. All right. Well, we're back to the normal now. Holy crap. Woo, woo, woo. All right. So. Gamer guy gave me a dollar. He says, I uh, hope you like the boss. You fight at least two more of them by the end of the game. Hooray. He. <laughs> you know what? At least you know what to do now once you fight it the first time, as tense as that is, and the crazy amount of ammo it takes. At least now you know what you're doing, right? That's good. All right, whoo! Got him done. Oh, lock. Arden Jetta. Erica, are you there? You see the UJC response team for the love of the gods. Run the other way. Mine supervisor. Headed back to Arden. All right. Well, that was our first boss of the game and we're like almost 10 hours in. <laughs> they took their sweet time with the boss. What do we got here? Oh, Jared Walsh. Oh, we're on a new stage. Where are you? Some kind of service tunnel. This is called Colony. All right. So I received a $5 super chat. Can go in here. From Jared, who says, Lego Star Wars is on Game Pass. Hello Neighbor 2 is out on Game Pass. Well, I already played Lego Star Wars earlier this year. I loved it. Sadly, it didn't really catch on with my audience. And, uh, you know, even though I did play all of it, by the end of the game, people weren't really watching anymore. Which was sad, because I liked having a Star Wars game in the rotation. And I never really... I hadn't done a Lego game in a very long time. So for me, it was good variety, but... I don't know. Some games just don't work out, and that one really didn't. Um, as for Hello Neighbor 2, I tried Hello Neighbor 1 as part of a Game Pass stream uh, earlier this year or last year, and it just didn't... It's a weird game. Like, I, <laughs> I just don't think it's for me. I'm sure some people love it, or else why would there be a sequel? But it's like canon. Yeah, I don't think so. Not for me. What's going on, Bruzy? How are you? Did we hit 100 likes? We hit 100 likes as well. We hit a lot of stuff back-to-back -back here. Aha. <clears throat> uh -huh. We have some stuff to sell, right? Pristine CPU printer, as well as the regular CPU printer. The regular was worth a thousand. The pristine must be worth like two grand, right? So we may be able to get some significant upgrades <clears throat> if and when we finally find another vendor unit. Here's another log. Oh, let's see here. Geez, I got a million questions. Well, first of all, we hit a hundred likes, right? Let's listen to Alex Wang while I blow some bubbles. <laughs> Look, I promise I'll get you out here real soon. Right, I miss you. So, <laughs> he came out here 
as a medical technician being promised a new life. He's like, nah, same old shit. Same old business nonsense. Same old fucking hierarchy of bullshit, right? <laughs> Just real life, though. I wouldn't be surprised if back in the day when there were expeditions leading out to new lands. Oh, we're going to explore a new world. You go out there, like, same shit. Nothing changes, man. Um, so thank you for the 100 likes. I just blew the bubbles for you guys. So, what's my favorite Star Wars game? Probably the original Battlefronts. Battlefront 1 and 2 from the mid-2000s. I played them on PC, and I absolutely loved them. Do you like the story of Soma? Yes, I did. What's my favorite lightsaber color? Uh, candy cane. The white and red mix back and forth for Christmas. That's my favorite one. Okay. This is where we came from, so we're going this way. Continue. Probably about a half an hour. Eh, about 20 minutes till we take our break. 20 minutes. So we're in Colony. I don't know uh, what chapter exactly we're on. I lost count. That was intense stuff. I'm at the Colony. Where are you? See that light tower? Meet me there. Light tower. Got it. On our way up to the light tower. Well, you know this colony is overrun. So this is before it was a prison planet. It was actually a habitated moon. And uh, I guess this is before they abandoned that idea. This is where people lived. Mine log. Darren Barr. Told them it was a complete waste of time. What's up, big shooter? Wasn't having it. <sighs> now they got my whole crew working OT. I just hope they find whatever it is they're looking for. To, so these people were the people who were mining before this became a prison planet. Maybe they're the ones who found the infection, the virus, the mutation, whatever it is. And then they built a prison planet on top of it as a, as a guise. Oh, it's a prison planet, but actually they were using it as a way to experiment on the prisoners. Maybe. You know what's also is funny? If you didn't notice, um, the log that we had the chapter before, okay, from this guy Yannick Sage, who apparently is one of the guys who works for this cult. Um, if you take a look, he has a second log, says the mole. We didn't find it, but the mole, that means there was a mole who was giving away stuff about the cult. And you got to wonder, could that be who Danny is? Maybe Danny is here as a result of the mole giving out information, and she thought you were the one smuggling this creature, virus, mutation off of the prison planet. And that's why she hated you. I mean, she's here to stop it. She's here to destroy it, perhaps. It's my guess. It's all just guessing. I'm glad that I uh, waited to step there. That could have been pretty dangerous. Well, we've got enemies here. Nothing new, right? Gomez, I'm almost done with the game. Well, we'll see. I doubt I'm beating it today. We'll see what happens. There's a whole bunch of stuff to explore here. Remember, as long as we just creep along, these guys never get alerted. We're free to creep in it and execute. And do our little thing here. Since I finished the game this morning, did you now? Hold on, I just heard a noise outside. I just want to see if it's a truck or something. I don't know. I heard a noise, but I looked outside. I don't see anything, so maybe it was a street or two away. <clears throat> there's another one. Now, that one, you cannot stealth. Unless there's a way to get up behind it from inside the building. Let's 
find out. Doesn't look like it. Looks like you have to take it head on, huh? Well, that's kind of annoying. There's no way to even, like, sneak up behind it. I guess I could just blow its foot off and then stomp it. There's another one we could kill. Man, there's a lot of ways to go here, huh? Am I expecting delivery today? Actually, no. I was supposed to get some batteries today. Because as I told you guys, we have um, electric candles. What they are, fake candles, where it has that simulated wick that flickers. My parents bought these for us several years ago. And for one type of them, the batteries have run out. I need C batteries to run them. So I ordered them last week. And I've been waiting for them to show up. And the, the shipment got delayed like three effing times. I guess because it's the holidays. Um... And finally, they got it delivered today, but they got delivered in the mail our mailbox. So, I'm actually not really expecting any delivery or anything today. Look at that. Get you, son of a bitch. Hello, American Mongo Undertaker. How are you today? Welcome. Welcome to the tenseness of the colony. You'd think there's going to be a vendor around here somewhere. This is indeed their, you know, living quarters and stuff. So that's where they want me to put a fuse? Or do I just pull the handle? I guess I could just pull the handle. Let's check out all these rooms. Looks like this place was evacuated in a hurry. You say evacuated, if it was evacuated, where are all these mutants coming from, right? I don't think it was very successfully evacuated. Nothing here. So the only one left is that one, huh? I think we killed everybody else. Wait, what's that? Oh, there's something else in there. It's waiting for me. Look, it's on the floor. How much you want to bet if you open the door, it comes after you? Alright, I'm just going to kill this guy straight up. I'm going to blow his leg off. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. There's another one right here. Like, this guy was qu quiet. I didn't even hear him. I didn't even hear this fucking guy. Take it. Stomp it. Bye-bye. Nothing in here? A door that you can't go in. Great. Alright, so now I think we're gonna just... We're gonna head up kill this guy over here. Hopefully it doesn't alert a million other guys. I think I've cleared the area. Ready? Okay. Nothing here? Nope. I think we're going up. Did I ever burn real candles? Yes, we like real candles. Um... He, he, Slurms McKenzie actually mentions Yankee Candle. Yankee Candle's great. They are pricey. The best way to do Yankee Candle is when there's a big sale. Sometimes for Christmas, they'll have like a coupon, buy, like buy two, get two, or something like that. That's really the best way to go about it, I feel. Um, you don't want to spend full price. Full price Yankee Candles are insanely expensive. So we get them when we can. The, here's the bummer about Yankee Candle is they used to have stores... At like malls and stuff so you could go to the store and you could smell the candle and you know what you're getting and you're like oh this is good or bad or whatever now they don't even have that anymore they the stores all went out of business so now you have to rely on just like if you're reading a catalog and telling you what they have or if you're lucky you might have like a, a store like a Kohl's that has the Yankee candles in stock but they're never on sale at a store like that so you never want to buy it you just want to go to the store smell the candle and then buy them online where they're on sale. So, yeah, I, I do like... Oh, shit. Hi. I do like Yankee Candle, but you can only get them in certain situations. Here we go. But like I said, we have... 
the candles that look nice, but they're not real. They're they're made of wax, but they're automated. They're, they run on batteries. Oh no. Take care of that shit. Ha 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 ha, that was cool. Flatten those fucks. Very nice. See, Yankee Candles smell great, though. Like, if you get the right scent... Oh, man, Yankee Candles can make your whole house smell good. We've had a Yankee Candle, you burn it in the living room, and then it just goes up the stairwell into the top floor, and your whole house smells so pleasant. So I do like them. And we actually have found a few other brands. If you go to Kohl's, have you ever been to a Kohl's store? They have, um, like, their own... I think one of their store brands is called Sonoma. And we've gotten a couple candles from Sonoma that also smell quite good. And those are way cheaper than Yankee Candle. Inventory full. What is it? Ammo, right? Yeah, okay. I guess I'll try to kill this guy. I'm gonna try to kill all the enemies and keep exploring. There we go. Do you think people just played the game running gun like Dead Space? I wonder. I wonder if there's people who are like, oh, I'm just gonna keep running and shooting and alerting all the enemies and trying to survive, then they complained it was too hard. It's, it's pretty obvious this is how you're supposed to look. It's pretty obvious how you're supposed to do. It's supposed to be a stealth game. Okay. Nothing in here. Oh yeah, Red Gamer said, I think we still have a Yankee Candle at my local mall. We, when I first moved here, there was a Yankee Candle at my local mall. But then they went out of business maybe four years ago. And then there's another mall that was a really high-end, classy mall for, like, rich people. Just being honest, like, that's the kind of mall it was. And Kat and I went there once a couple years ago. And uh, they had a Yankee Candle store. And we liked it. Like, we actually bought a couple candles while we were there. And so then, earlier this year... We wanted to go again, and one time on our on my, our day off, we actually did go out of our, what the? Assault rifle schematic? Oh, shit. So one day on our day off, we actually did go up there. We drove way out there. It was much earlier this year. We drove way out there, and we go there, and they had gone out of business there, too. We were like, you've got to be fucking kidding us. We had no clue. We thought that they were still in business. They weren't. So the only Yankee Candle store anywhere in our state is it is like super duper far away oh no i stopped him so good he glitched you saw that shit <laughs> he was hiding in the fucking bathroom stall you son of a bitch. Hiding in the goddamn bathroom stall, right? So anyway, uh, yeah, so we haven't been to a Yankee Candle store. Man, I couldn't tell you the last time. It's been so long since uh, we've actually seen one. Dude, I have so much to sell. I totally need to start finding shit to sell or finding a vendor to sell, right? So much stuff to sell right now. And I can make the new gun too. I don't want hand cannon ammo. I don't want skunk gun ammo. All I want is shotgun ammo at this point. Shotgun ammo or, you know, other useful items. Nothing? Nothing. Security room. Is this where we're supposed to go? There's a guy on the wall right there, so I better be careful and not make noise. Get the credits. I guess not. It's a blinking security room with literally nothing in it of any use. Oh, is this what we're supposed to do? Look at this. That was the key card. Ugh. Jared, thank you for the super chat. Yes, I'm well aware of the new Street Fighter 6 beta test coming up. 
and I, I'm already in it. I'm in it because I was in the first one. I'm already in the second one. So I'll be playing that next weekend. Well, not this weekend, coming up the weekend after. And of course, I'm very excited for it. There we go. Slurm says they have Yankee candles on Amazon if you know your scent. There you go again, see? You need to know what scent you want. And if you don't know what they smell like. Usually, like I said, what my, my wife and I wait for, they'll mail us like coupons in the mail. And it'll be like, buy, buy two candles, get two candles completely free. So instead of paying like, you know, $30 for a fucking candle, which is insane, you pay between 10 and 15. So then you get, you know, you pay, oh, you don't pay that much. So then it's worth it. But that's the only time it's really worth it. I really didn't want that. Well, I'll drop it if I need to. You notice they're giving me an insane amount of skunk gun, and that's it. They're not giving me any of the other ammos. I don't want the skunk gun. Oh, shit. Oh my god, fuck this. So you saw what happened there? The game purposely made noise and forced me to a situation where I had to get hurt. There was really nothing I could do about it. The hand glitched and spun again. Yeah, the game basically screwed me. It forced me into the situation where I had to get fucked up. Like, damn. That door's locked. These lockers don't open, because I haven't been over here yet. There's a door here I don't think I went in yet, right? This one? I don't think I've been in here. I think this is a first aid station. This is an optional room. Okay, well, I guess we'll investigate this. I received an $8 tip. This is, look over there. It's the circus of values. Remember that shit? Wow. Yeah. Some Bioshock goodness for all of you. Thank you to whoever that was because there was no name attached, but it was an $8 tip. So we're currently up to $58 in tips, and I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you very much. All right, guys. Good stuff.